Nola Jet here, and in this episode, Lambert's Cafe. Road rolls. <laughs> Welcome to Nola Jet. Let the good times roll. I've been coming to Lambert's Cafe, home of the Throat Rolls in Foley, Alabama, for over 20 years. And during the high season in the summertime, it's usually going to take you well over an hour to get in. Uh, during the visit that I was filming this, July 5th, it took over an hour and a half to get in in the late evening time. During the uh, off season, during the winter, uh, sometimes you can get in without a wait. Often there still is sometimes a little bit of a wait, but uh, depending how you time it, you sometimes can get in without any wait at all during the off season. But right now, as I'm filming this in the high season of summer, and with the added reduced seating capacity due to COVID-19 restrictions, certainly expect to wait over an hour or longer for any entrance into this very popular tourist destination. During the often long waits, they do have a gift and souvenir store you can visit to bide your time and do a little shopping. And they also have some interesting items out around the surrounding areas also to entertain people of the younger children ages and maybe even some older adults that are children at heart. Uh, the gift shops never had all that much that seems interesting to me. It's mostly some t-shirts, knickknacks, uh, mugs, and some uh, different little items such as uh, the hard hats that you can use on the beach to hunt for different things on the beach in the middle of the night. So you see they have some of the old-fashioned coin-operated rides there on the left. There's a playground to the right. And then this porch seating area you will spend a lot of time on. Usually it's a lot more crowded than this. But it was such a hot day, a lot of people were just sitting in their cars waiting to get in. But typically there are lots of people standing in line and then seated on the benches. The people on the benches already have stood in line and are waiting to be called because the people in line are just waiting to get on the list. There are still some things to look at during your wait in addition to the gift store. Like outside you can see that Lambert's Cafe was established in 1942 by Earl and Agnes Lambert. There are all manner of fun decorations, paintings, antiques, and fun kitschy items to look at. Finally, at long last, our number came up and it's time for us to go inside and just make sure to look around at the walls, the floor, the ceiling, and all of the items strewn about. This place is just chock full of all manner of artwork, antiques, decorations, pictures, statues, all sorts of things are in here. This is a paradise for anybody that likes to look at such kitschy items and all the very interesting history and items from the restaurant all throughout time. So quite a fascinating place if you're into this sort of thing. You can also see they have daily specials with a ribeye and shrimp special and a smoked chicken. Uh, they seem to always have the ribeye and shrimp special. Well, let's get to our table. You can see it's uh, still during COVID-19 time, still pretty crowded in here, all things considered. And just look at all these crazy decorations. They don't leave any space vacant uh, in most of the areas, it seems. So from top to bottom, lots of stuff to look at and uh, keeps everything uh, a little fun that way. But don't get distracted because remember, this is the home of throwed rolls and you've got to catch rolls or get hit with them. So be careful. These are huge rolls. Now, unfortunately, they don't throw rolls anything like they used to. These days, I would say it's more of a gentle toss or simply a handoff instead of a real throw. For the first many years this place was open, the rolls were thrown like fast pitch baseballs. So you would get nailed in the head sometimes. Another unfortunate change that I've noticed through the years is the people walking around with the pass arounds are far less common than they used to be. And I really wanted something to go on my roll, uh, such as the sorghum or the apple butter they offered, but those people were nowhere to be seen. So you may just be asking yourself, what are these pass arounds? Well, pass arounds are food items that different people walk around periodically through the restaurant with next to your table and will serve you these items. 
and we'll review what these items are here in a bit. So even before the waiters brought my menu to me, here I have some fried okra, which is one of the pass arounds. So you get to start eating even before you order your food. They also give you gigantic mugs of your drink here. And all drinks are all you can drink. However, they unfortunately do not serve alcohol here. This is one of the very few places in the area where you can't get a beer or other alcoholic beverage. Well, we got our menu. Let's take a look at it. So we see right here at the beginning, for over 75 years, our family has been serving you, our guests, inviting you to come hungry, leave full, and hopefully have a laugh or two. The original Lamberts on March 13th, 1942, Earl and Agnes Lambert, with 14 cents between them, borrowed $1,500 from Tish Jones in a small building, and with five employees, they opened on South Main Street. The cafe had a nine-stool counter and eight tables for a seating capacity of 41. Their policy of serving vegetables, meat, and dessert was immediately established. These were trying years for everyone. World War II and severe rationing made restaurant operations extremely difficult. The war years were greeted with many meatless days and supplies were in short supply. Earl and Agnes, through hard work and long hours, made Lambert's the place to be during the 40s and 50s for what was happening in politics, sports, local gossip, and above all, great food. If you traveled Highway 61 in those days, you knew you could count on a great steak, freshly prepared vegetables, and an eye-popping piece of pie, no matter what time of day. I would also suggest to Lambert's that they also include in here that the Foley location of Lambert's was opened in 1996 and was the third location. There are two other locations, both in Missouri. So, the entire country only has three Lambert's. Next on the menu, we see we have the pass around. So, those include hot rolls, sorghum molasses, apple butter, macaroni and tomatoes, fried potatoes and onions, black-eyed peas, fried okra, and boiled cabbage. And as the menu says, if you're not real hungry, you can ask for a pass-around plate and enjoy just the pass-arounds for $10. And also, we should notice Lambert's Cafe Creed, something not right, tell your server, need more of anything, just ask. We'll serve okra and rolls on your napkin and other pass-arounds on your plate. We aim to please. Anything less we will not settle for. Please no doggy bags with reorder, no extra plates or sharing plates. And uh, I've been told by the staff what this means is that you can have all you can eat of even your entree. I've never tested that out before because the pass arounds typically make me so full when I eat my entree and the pass arounds, I'm too full to get any more of anything. And when you're looking at your entree to decide, please be aware that there are uh, pretty important differences between some of them. Most of the entrees only come with two sides, but a handful come with three sides. So specifically, the meatloaf comes with mashed potatoes and two other sides, so that would be three sides. Then under the down-home slice of hog section, the barbecue pork steak comes with three sides and the pork chop cutlets come with three sides. So if you, you know, just really wanted a little extra to eat on top of basically all you can eat, that's a little hack to add another side. Well, let's look at the other side of the menu. Here they have some sandwiches, including burgers, uh, the kids menu, and then some more entrees that all come with two sides. There are salads. And then they have some takeout like items you can get of the different pass arounds and some other items. And then their all you can drink menu for drinks. In the past, I've tried their steak and shrimp special, really for the price, unless you're just going to try and eat steak and shrimp and keep getting uh, all you can eat on that. I think there's better places to eat steak and for the price um, and with the all you can eat pass arounds, I don't think that's the best choice if you're gonna eat the pass arounds and enjoy everything that is to be had here. But if you're only gonna eat the steak, maybe that is a good deal for you. I've also had the burger several times. It's a decent burger. Um, and then uh, my last visit here around Thanksgiving time, I had the meatloaf. It was not as good as I have experienced in the past, but I think I'm gonna give them another try and see if during COVID-19 time they can get back on target with the meatloaf. 
So, when my meatloaf arrived, it definitely looked way better than the last example I was served. And let's dig in and see how it tastes. So, definitely looks way better. And yes, it does taste way better. So glad to see they have this meatloaf back on track. It's the way that it needs to be. Perfectly delicious. A lot of meatloaf. So if this is really all I could eat meatloaf, I really kind of doubt if I could eat another serving of this meatloaf because it is such a large serving. But maybe, just maybe I could if I was really hungry. Anything's possible, right? Beets. mashed potatoes and gravy. Sweet potato. Okay, here's the last big bite of the meatloaf. I think I can get it down. Oh, all right. I'm glad I didn't quite choke on that one. So after I finished my meatloaf, Finally, some people started bringing more pass arounds to the table. Black eyed peas. I never seemed to get the molasses and the apple butter at the same time I had a roll, so that, that was kind of disappointing. I really wanted to have some of that to eat with my roll. Oh, boiled cabbage. And the cabbage also never showed up to the very end. Finally, my apple butter here at the end, and no roll in sight. Apple butter. I had to ask my waiter to bring me some because they never brought this to my table. A little suddenly tasting applesauce. Well, the bill arrived. It was $31.90 before tip for my meatloaf and my uh, dining companion's pass around plate that was $10. So, a decent price for two people to eat. So, paying the bill, it's time to head out of here. And going out towards the exit of Lambert's is pretty much just as fun and entertaining as going through the entrance, as they have a lot of stuff to look at still on the way out, just like they did on the way in. So, you can really see this is really a large space with booths all throughout the building, so they can cram a lot of folks up inside this place. So, overall, a pretty good time in here. Uh, just always some hiccups with getting the pass arounds passed around in time. Out of my last several years' experience, where in the beginning, when they first opened, you had all sorts of people running around all the time getting the pass arounds quite quick. It's worth checking out. I don't know if it's quite worth waiting for it during the high season, but that's up to you. Uh, personally, I prefer going in the low season when I don't have to wait for over an hour. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.